Hi everyone, and I am doing something different today. I'm back from my wine diaries. This is kind of this is going to be a fun series. So I hope that you guys join me for. I don't know what it is, but I hope you guys join me. So anyway, I have got two of the same types of wine. I have not had this wine in probably 30 years. I have no idea what made me think about getting this wine, but. Anyway, I'm excited to check these out for you. Like I said, that same wine, just different uh, wineries. It's Gewurztraminer. So one's from the uh, Saint uh, or Chateau Saint Michel. This is out of Washington State, and the other one is Fetzer. And this one's out of California, Mendocino County line. Yeah, that one. So anyway, I'm excited to open these up. Of course, you can see I opened one already and had some. But anyway, I'm excited to have you join me in these travels. And uh, yeah, so I hope you stick around and let's uh, do a little taste test together. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. This is my new series and I'm just calling Nancy's Wine Diaries and I have no idea where, where I'm going with this or what I really want to accomplish. I just know it's just lots of fun. So I'm trying two uh, wines tonight, different um, different wineries, but the same type. It's the Gewurz de Minor. And I have not had this in maybe 30 years. And the first time I had this, I was on a business trip with um, my boss when I worked for Mini Systems out of North Attleboro, Massachusetts. And we had gone down to Orlando for um, an electronic show. And one thing about this company, Mini Systems, when we did business trips, they treated their employees really well. After hours, I mean, they took us out to eat and whatever. Well, my boss wanted nothing like with the group of people. He, we were in Orlando. We were going to Disney. We were doing Universal. After hours, we did all that things and nobody wanted to join us because he was like a daredevil. We had to go on every thrill ride because no one in his family wanted to do stuff like that with him. They would go with him and they would do, you know, okay rides or whatever. But um, yeah, so yeah, I was like a skinny pig because he wanted someone to scream along with him. And every night we would go out and just have a nice dinner and different wines. And the first time I had this wine, I was with him. And yeah, so anyway, I haven't thought about this for so long, but I got some Gewurz demeanor. So the first one, and, and I was like, well, how do I know which one I want to try? And so I went online and I was looking at different wines and I didn't really know. So there's two liquor stores that are kind of like in my area. So I thought I'd, and I've been shopping in each one, so I felt comfortable going in. And when I went, I, I really was kind of overwhelmed. There's so many different ones. So I went up to uh, one of the cashiers or the service people there. And, uh, you know, I just told them what I was looking for, but I didn't really know the brand. Could they recommend one that maybe is one of their best sellers? So the first one I went to gave me Fetzer. And I um, it might have been like 1098 or whatever. I did go online and there was different stores that had it on sale in the area for like 798. Some were up to like 1598, but it was all right around that same price range. The second store that I went into um, gave me the Chateau Saint Michel, and that's out of Washington. That was right around the same price. And when I came home and I looked online, different stores in the area all kind of had that for the same price as well. So just um you know nothing crazy nothing expensive and it's just it's just me doing a little taste test so i'm fine with that both uh say pair well with like spicy dishes curry dishes um chicken turkey uh savory snacks so i made myself a little snack tray so i have got i don't know if you can see it but i have got a couple of jalapeno poppers i have some barbecued meatballs with uh, some cheese and then i made a uh, little chicken stir fry tonight with some lo mein type noodles and yeah and i'm using my new dishes well i only have like service before but i just thought this was so appropriate yeah and i got these off uh, amazon so i've got these a uh, little snack snack trays i got some pasta bowls because i love pasta and dinner plates so yeah i'm loving these ones so anyway uh let's get started 
Alrighty, sorry about that. I had to sneeze. So anyway, I got my wine glass here. And I'll do the Fetzer since this is the one I already opened. I was going to wait till I got the other one, but I just couldn't wait. It just smells really good. I got a different wine glass this time instead of my little ones because since I want to kind of swirl it around, I thought I needed something with a little bit wider base on the bottom. So again, this one is Fetzer. It's a Gewurz Demeanor. This is from 2020. And they do mention about uh, their, uh, their like economy minded and things like that. So it'll mention how they're saving energy, water, and things like that. And of course, it's got the it's got a description of the wine, where it's from, Mendocino, uh, Mendocino County, in California. And they have been in business, from what I see, from like 1968. They do have a lot of different wines. I mean, they've got some that are more expensive than others, but most of them are like for like what people like I would want to go in and just kind of pick out something, just everyday things, nice pricing. Alrighty, so we've got this glass. I wish the best part. I thought maybe putting up a thing behind it so you can just kind of see the clarity. It is a really pale yellow color, like a golden hue looks clear it's not cloudy at all and I got my stem so we're going to just kind of swirl it in the glass so I can sniff it and tell you what I smell alrighty this one just smells really fragrant I can just kind of feel it right back here so it's fruity I'm picking up like um, apricots and peach maybe something floral Be honeysuckle. Alrighty, so there. So let's have a sip and see what we say. Cheers, everyone. So it it is on the drier side of what I'm used to, like a moscato, but not that bad. Um, I think what they call this is acidy, where like when you in a, an acid isn't like a bad thing when it comes to wine. Um, it's like your mouth starts to water. So that's the acidy, which helps cut through some of the foods. Like tannins might go through, um, even though it's drier and dries your mouth out, that helps you eat more proteins and break down meats and things like this. The citrusy ones just kind of makes your mouth water. And it can still kind of taste like the it's not like a strong peach like a peach wine but I you do get that fruity sense that I can still kind of taste in through here but yeah so this is this is good I do like this it's um you know and usually I like the sweet wines like if I'm just sitting by myself having a drink or something after work and you know maybe it's 12 o'clock in the, the morning or whatever when I come home and you know I just want to have a sweet wine because I'm not eating anything and I just want to kind of relax and I just want to have a glass but sometimes earlier in the evening or with a meal I want something a little on the drier side but not so dry that it goes and puckers me out so this is a nice light it's um they say it's a full-bodied wine but um to me maybe it's more medium because I'm used to like Moscato it's sweet and it's kind of heavy but um, they call this a uh, full full body but to me maybe it's medium but but it, it's dry but not so so dry and because it's got that acid in there and your mouth just kind of waters after and makes you want a little bit more I'm gonna have one more sip I'm gonna have a little bit of food and then I'm going to come back with the other one cheers everyone so good alrighty so I am back for part two really did love the Fetzer wine it's a great price not too expensive and now um, you know I know that it's available locally it's available from quite a few stores in the area at different prices so um, it's easy enough I mean the store that I went to was the one that's closest to me where I work in Rogers Minnesota and uh, it's a small it's a small store it's not that busy so I feel comfortable going in and out of there 
There's one um, in the town where I live. Um, it's a little bit bigger. It's more like a chain. And so the prices there are generally a lot better. But to go in and talk to someone, yeah, I can't do that. It's just there's too many people in there. I can go in and get what I want and get out. But to ask questions, I yeah, it was just too much for me. So I went to another one in Albertville, which is a little bit uh, smaller store that I've been to before. So I could go in there and it's just, uh, it just kind of like that, kind of like a hometown feel. There's another one that's in the town where I live too in St. Michael, but I've never been in there. So yeah, I can't go into that one. I can only go into places that I've been before. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but someday maybe that'll change. So this one is the uh, Chateau Saint Michel. This one is the one out of Washington. And see if I can get up close to show you the label here. This one is from 2020. Columbia Valley is the area in Washington. And of course, it's got the disclaimers on the back. And it uh, says, you know, they recommend this with like crab, turkey, or a spicier dish. I don't have any crab tonight, sorry. Okay. All righty, got my glass. I think I poured too much because it took me a while to finish that. All righty, so let's pour some out. Again, I think it kind of looks about like the same color, right? So let's... Maybe this one's a little bit lighter, but I'm, I can't be sure. It's like I would, should have to do them side by side, but it's a very, very pale yellow color. It's very clear. And I don't know if, if I'm doing two wines, even though the same, should I do different glasses or is it okay to use the same glass? Alrighty, so we are going to swirl this around and see if I get the uh, same notes. This is fun swirling it and I don't have to worry about spilling it. <laughs> yeah. This wide glass is much better for that. Okay. This one, um, it smells stronger. I think they're both 12% alcohol. This one I have more of like a, a woodsy, a woodsy type of smell. Not, not sure if it's oak, but it's definitely some kind of wood or something that I'm picking up there. Something more earthy. I don't think I'm picking up florals like I did in the other one, so maybe this one isn't going to be as sweet. I think I'm still picking up a little bit maybe like apricot, not so peachy, but more on the apricot side. And I know I did see on the back that it mentioned clove, so that might be what I'm smelling too on the spicier side. All right, deep breath. Here we go. Let's uh, check this puppy out, shall we? Cheers, everyone. This one is definitely, I feel as a heavier wine. I feel like this one, I would call this one more full body than the other one. Um, I don't feel as much acid. I don't feel like my mouth is watering like it did with the other one. So there's not as much acid in here. It's, well, maybe it is, but I, my mouth isn't watering like it did with the, uh, the other one with the Fetzer. But it is still good. Um, I think it's on the drier side. You know, that time when I picked it up, I almost felt like orange, like an orange zest or something. It's funny how as you go along and you taste things or you smell it for the second time, maybe you pick up something, something different. So maybe taste, when you taste it and smell it at the same time, maybe you pick up something different. Now, this one is definitely drier. It's still really good. Um, I could see eating this more with meats, um, something or maybe something even spicier. Um, but yeah, either either one is good. I would be happy to buy either one of these again. I think on the sweeter side, if I wanted something on the sweeter side just to kind of sit and relax, I would probably go with the Fetzer. But this one is is really a good dinner wine as well. So. Yeah, so it's really good, yeah. I think this one mentioned something about stone fruits, but I don't really know what stone fruits fruits are. Um, and again, this one, the, the one from uh, Chateau Saint Michel, this is from Eastern Washington. This one was established, um, their winery was established around 1934, so they've been in business a while. They, I have seen their name 
many times and different ads that kind of pop up on Facebook and uh, or maybe it's YouTube but I, I know I've seen ads but I've, I have never bought anything of this before um yeah I'd be happy with e either one so I mean if I'm in a place and I see either one of these I would love to buy either one again you know someday maybe I will try like buying like one of these like in you know the lower price range like I I like to be in but maybe go up a notch maybe and maybe someday try one like in the 20 or 30 dollar range and then go back to like the 10 dollar range and do them side by side and see if just an amateur like me can tell the difference i know there's a difference between these two i like them both can i say which one is better than the other no i think it just depends on what you're looking for but anyway i'm going to finish my dinner with my wine i want to thank you all for joining me again you guys are amazing and i don't know if i welcomed you properly to the channel because i was so excited to get into this wine so again i'm nancy and this is nancy's wine diaries and i'm just really excited to be doing this and sharing these adventures with you i look forward to your comments any helpful wines that you would like me to try maybe um and compare to that would that would be great um yeah like like i said i usually do um moscatos which is really sweet but sometimes you just kind of want something a little bit more grown up and not so much like soda. You know what I mean? So I want to kind of branch out and try some different wines, kind of get familiar with uh, what I like, what I don't like. And you, so your help is always going to be appreciated. And yeah, so I'm going to close out for now and just I uh, want to thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are amazing. I hope that uh, everyone gives this video a thumbs up. And we will all chat again. I'll try to do these about once a week. So we'll see how that goes. So anyway, bye-bye, everyone. Till we talk again. Bye-bye. So anyway, I came across this picture that, well, it's been on my bureau. So it's not like I had to go looking for it. But this is actually me and my boss when I worked there. And so he is feeding me uh, or making me feed the salmon to the bear. And uh, behind him, we have... Um, so I've got, um, I don't know if this is going to show up or not, but I've got uh, our rep. This is when we went to California. So we did like Disney and Universal and stuff in California. I think we did Knott's Farm. I mean, yeah. So yeah, he took me everywhere to do stuff like that. Medieval courts, whatever. But so I've got like, um, so that's, um was one of our engineers at Thick Film. Um, that was a general manager that worked at the package division. I That's kind of burned down, but um, yeah, so he's been gone a while and that was our rep from uh, California that we dealt with and again that's my boss and that was me making me feed the uh, salmon to the bear we also did picture with Star Trek people so that was really really fun so anyway just I uh, wanted to uh, show you that picture and just uh, yeah we just had a lot of fun whenever we did business trips it was just um, they, they always treated us so well and yeah and you know my boss was just such a really nice family man and of course his his family worked um, at the company and his daughter-in-law worked for me and so it was just it was just like a nice family affair and yeah so it was really fun so anyway I hope that you uh, enjoyed this video and again I hope you give it a thumbs up and we will all chat again soon everyone bye